Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is John Hammond, and we're still going through the Kaizen CTF challenges. Uh, the CTF was on this past week on Friday, and a couple of my team members and myself were able to take a look at it. So I want to show off next the Fun with Flags 2 challenge. Um, this one was admittedly a little harder than the others, and uh, I ended up taking a hint on this one, which took out uh, a couple points, which was disappointing because looking back, I didn't have to. I really shouldn't have taken the hint, but it was good to like actually re like, take a look at what I should be doing. Like, really, really reinforce that I should have been reading the source code very carefully. Because the challenge prompt here is, analyzes the site source and log in. Your next flag is displayed on members.php. So, okay. Um, this carries on from the last challenge, Fun with Flags 1, where we were taking a look at this web page, uh, Sheldon Cooper's flags web page, where there wasn't a whole lot of interaction. You could sign up and log in, but there wasn't anything really there. I wouldn't let you sign up or log in. Um, so what you ended up doing was taking a look at the robots.txt and seeing there's a Git repository, which you could totally download and find the source code um, by. So what we ended up doing was doing just that. We used Git dumper to find the source, and it's a Git repo, so we can Git log, take a look at the Git commit messages, and start to look through the source, and we show that thuff. So, the challenge prompt this time tells us that we want to analyze the source code and see how we can log in, so it really forces us to look at the login.php file. So I take a look at this, and I start to kind of read through it, and I start this a little bit, with a long time here, um, I started to see that, obviously, if a username is set and a post variable is, and, a, and a password is set, um, it'll determine whether or not we have the correct capture or stuff like that, or it'll try and set a username. And it'll it'll query from the database where the username is and if there's a, a password and stuff like that. Um, but that's only determined if username is set and password are set. There is an else that was very curious, else if there's a cookie is set, which is auto-login. And if it is, if, if that's the case, what it does is it takes the cookie, it base64 decodes it, Compre like uncompresses it with gzip and it serializes or it unserializes it and then it sets the capture code to true and then we'll move on there's nothing else that was happening there so huh i can fake that data right i can totally make that up so why don't i think about doing that i i, I started to get that going in my mind and i try to read through more of the source code because what it does after is it starts to do the sql command it's the sql statement that says select password from members where username equals username well crap i don't know any valid usernames right what it does is it sets up the bind parameter so username is what is passed to it and that's what we control it's based off of the data variable which we control because of the the, the cookie that we're setting and then it executes it, and it sets the password to what is returned. Um, if the data, if the password we supply is equal to the password that they retrieve from the database, and the capture code is true, which it should be from our cookie being set, then it goes through and it sets our session username, which they use to actually verify all the other pages, like are you logged in, stuff like that, if you have a session username set. Um I'm trying to give you an example here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If is set session username, it'll bring you to the actual page. Otherwise, it'll bring you to the login page, which is a mess. So what we do here is now that we know, we can set up this cookie, and that'll supply data for a username and password because we unserialize it. It becomes actual PHP data and PHP code. This SQL statement is something we don't really have control over. The challenge prompt and even the hint that I took a look at told me there isn't any SQL injection. And because they're binding a parameter here, I know I can't do any SQL injection. That's the proper way of formatting SQL like variables. So I'm kind of screwed. Unless I thought about this a little carefully, and, and I'm trying to be clever here, is if my username is nothing, then my password that's returned, they won't be able to return any password. It'll say, oh, password is nothing. It won't be able to find anything, and password will just be set to an empty string. So, if I set my password to an empty string, that means my password that I send in will be equal to the password they retrieve from the database. Empty string will be equal to empty string, right? And that's all because my username is set to an empty string. So I need a data or a cookie auto login setup where the data username is set to an empty string and the password is set to an empty string. So, hmm, 
okay, we can start to build this now. What I do is I open up a PHP thing of my own. So here's the gig. I will go ahead and actually subble a, a attack.php. So I'm opening up in Sublime Text now, and it's a PHP file, so I want to have my PHP stuff right here. And what I'll do is I'll set a data equals new array, or I guess array name equals array. Honestly, don't really know much of PHP syntax all that well. But username can be nothing. And here, I'll, sorry, I'll blow this up for you so you can see it a little bit better. And password can be nothing. So this is just an associative array, like a dictionary in PHP. And now I will serialize this data. Because that's what they do first. They unserialize it, or they do that last, sorry. So if I echo this out, does it actually get displayed? Am I actually writing correct and proper code right now? I will try and uh, actually denote this with, where is PHP 7? 7.0, okay, user bin. Let's just copy this in there. So we got our shebang line. We'll make that executable. And we can run it. I'll close out of this. Now we can see our serialized PHP data. We get an array with two variables, username set to nothing and password set to nothing. Awesome. And now I want to go back to that source code. Crap, dang it, why did I do that? Um, Login.php. And they uncompress it. So now we can GZ compress. We doing so we're doing the reverse of all of these things. And again, okay, now it's compressed. And now we'll want to base sixty four encode it because they decode it first. So base sixty four encode this. So now that that's all done, we have a base64 string, which they will decode, because it'll be a cookie we can supply, and they'll decode it, they'll uncompress it, and they'll unserialize it, and they set the capture equal to true. So, ideally, theoretically, because we've set our username to be an empty string, they'll get an, an empty password from when they were retrieving the database, and that'll match our empty password that we give it. So we should be able to log in with this vulnerability and this exploit that we found here. So I'll copy this, I'll go to the web page. Um, do I still have it? I guess not. Let's get over there. And now let's set up a cookie. Manager tool from uh, for Firefox. So let's add a new cookie. It was called auto login, I think. And we'll specify the content to be the space64 string. We want the domain to be here, or I'm sorry, the path to be here. And then we'll go ahead and save it. It should have been with that fun with flags thing, though. Crap. Where is that? Auto login. Auto login. We need to specify it's for the domain fun with flags, so we'll save it now. Now, if we refresh, fingers crossed. Mmm, no luck. What did I do wrong here? Oh, I did nothing wrong. It wants me to be... It, that, that, that test happens at the login.php, right? So if we can go to login.php, and we're logged in. Awesome. So now we have a whole new page. Welcome to Fun with Flags members area. Here are the many awesome flags we'll be exploring. Okay, so I guess there's literally just a bunch of flags. So I'm going to view the source here. And scrolling around to look to find it, we can get control F for a Kaizen, and there it is. Just at the very end, we've got our flag. Kaizen, knock, 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 penny times three. So, sweet! We'll go ahead and submit that, <laughs> and uh, that's our new flag. So, awesome. A little bit of thinking, a little bit of examining that source code, and trying to piece together a, a script exploit there with thinking about, okay, we can fake our login with an auto-login cookie and specifying empty username and password. So, 
cool. Again, I would not have thought of that on my own, or at least I, I should have been able to think of that on my own. I should have kept reading through the source code and like actually doing it line by line, examining it. But I ended up taking the hint at the very end of the competition, like before the game was over, because uh, I wanted to really get this this one. And they say like seriously, look at the source code. Just analyze for the source code and see if you can find a vulnerability. So I, we thought it through, and I got in. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you in a later video.